hello beautiful family welcome back so today we are making edible lace and this recipe is super easy to make at the comfort of your home and it's also super flexible and also super applicable. so if you know what i mean this recipe is a recipe when you are looking to enhance your cake decoration with some edible lace this is a recipe you need to give it a try and being said that let's dive into the making so here is the ingredient that we'll use for this edible lace here we have our cmc if you don't have cmc you can use tyros powder and also we have this icing sugar for for sweetening taste and here we have our corn flour if you don't have corn flour you can use cornstarch for this recipe and also we have corn syrup if you don't know how to make your home corn syrup share the page you are going to see the video and if you don't have corn syrup you can also use your glucose so with some hot water and my silicone uh, mat so this my silicone mat is the big one i couldn't find the smaller one so i'm just going to use this one and some little of a, a, part, a spatula or palette knife <laughs> which of them so here is the hot water the boiling hot water so i'm going to add the cmc inside so you can see me just gently adding the cmc and after we've added this we are taking i've taken my spoon to make sure i stir this together so when you stir it together it's going to have lumps because cmc and water those two things it takes time for them to blend together so after we've done this stage i'm just going to make sure i remove it and so we can keep it for one hour cover it and let it stay for one hour after that the cmc and the water must have absorbed together so you can see how it's looking after the one hour then i'm just going to take my spoon to make sure i mix it together at this stage you still have some lumps but not very big lump so those are soft lump that is how i'm going to group it so you see me adding my icing sugar and also adding the the corn syrup to it so here after we've done this stage we are just going to mix them together here i added white color to it you can add any of your flavor uh, favorite color is your choice and if the white color or the color that you are using is not bright enough you can also add so you can see me there adding more white to the mixture it's not easy to make but not that it's going to take all your energy anyway so you see me holding it i'm just trying to make sure i have a very smooth paste so no lumps again you've missed it very well so here is the mat this mat is washed clean and dry so i'm not applying anything on top so i'm just going to use my palette knife to make sure i apply it on top of my mat if this time is your first time of you seeing my video you are highly welcome here here is easy delicious recipe Don't so click on the follow button or the subscribe button so that anytime i post video like this you will get notification and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much so you can see me here just using my scraper to make sure i scrape and make sure all the gap or the hole in the silicone mat is being covered with the paste that we've already prepared so that is what i'm doing here you just place it on top and make sure you are rubbing it just to make sure all every space is well covered so after we've done this stage if you want it to be very light you can actually just dry it like this so i'm just going to put it on on the sun 
to make sure I dry it for like 30 minutes time. So I will go back and apply it because I want a thicker version of, of the lace. So I want it to be thick. So after one hour of sun is going to be dried and it's also you can see it's already pulling from the silicone mat before I started removing it. So the reason is that if you know that it has dried the sun, that means because there is a good sun. So that is why it's like that. You can, I left it after I brought it from the sun, I left it on my room temperature to make sure some moisture pass through it so that it's soft for me to remove. So you can see here is very flexible, very beautiful. You can make different colors. You can apply edible dust on it. You can brush with edible dust. Just make sure you make your own design as far as you have a silicone mat. So like I said, I have this big silicone mat. I don't know where my other smaller silicone mat is. So that is why I'm using my big one. And this, this design, you can make them ahead and make sure you just fold them, keep them in a ziplock zip bag so that no moisture or hair goes inside, pass through it again. So that whenever you would it, when it's time for you to cover your cake, you can go ahead and cover it. So you can brush it. Look at how beautiful it tastes. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. And also you can, if you are having this type of my mat, you can make sure you cut some. Just make sure you cut out your design out. If you are not using the whole mat design to wrap a cake. And I see that you can make it from the comfort of your home. Because I, if I can do it, you can. So you can see me just using my hand to demonstrate that you can do this. And it's so easy to make. And I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.